Well, the weather isn't the only thing heating up in New York this week. Saturday marks the return of one of the city's most beloved events, the 16th annual Dance Parade and Festival. That's right. Here's Sherelle Starr with a preview of what to expect and a few moves you can break out once you get there. Come on, y'all. If you've ever wanted to test out your two-step in the streets of the city, you're in luck. Today I'm chatting with Jamila Holman, a choreographer for the upcoming Dance Parade and Festival, and she's going to teach us a couple of steps to try out at the event. So Jamila, I definitely want to get to talking about the Dance Parade and Festival, but first I want to talk about you and your amazing career. What inspired you to get in involved in dance? Um, you know, as a little girl, a friend of my father's daughter danced at a dance studio and we went to their recital and I saw kids that looked like me up there dancing and I said I wanted to try it and I was six years old and I've never looked back. You've danced for John Legend, you've danced for Sir, Sir John McCartney, you've done a little bit of everything. How has that been? It's been amazing. Um, that's every dancer's dream to actually be able to do what they love and get paid for it. <laughs> And so now you are helping out with the parade, dance parade, and the festival. What makes this event so different and unique? Um, the cultures make this event so special. You will see every culture you think that exists there, from from Asia to Africa to you know America to to Europe. Like this, everybody comes together and just enjoys dance and just enjoys the love that they have for dance. And you've got about ten thousand people, I believe, who yes. participate in this. Yes. Uh, some professionally trained, yes. but you don't have to be a professionally trained dancer to enjoy the parade and festival, right? No, you don't have to be professionally trained in order to dance. All you have to do is move your body any way your heart feels like it wants to move. Like we encourage everyone. No walking, dancing. Well, I love that. So with that, would you teach me a few steps that we can sort of perform maybe for the dance parade so a couple of viewers at home maybe can try it out too? Sure. Like right, back, right, together. Okay. Right, left, back, left, okay. together, and hit. And with this step, you'll be able to move right down the street. I and love then you it. can just clap it out. You can snap. Yeah, see? You got it. <laughs> So Jamila, I know Intrinsic Studio has their own troupe and we're gonna check out a little bit of what they're doing. You wanna show me? Yes. Let's, let's do go. it. All right. Hey body. Good. Maya. And here we go. Here we're gonna prance. Go. Five, six, prance, go. One. Here we go. Go. And one, two, pop it, pop it. Yeah. So where can people find more information about the Dance Parade? They can go to danceparade.org and just know that the parade is on May 21st, starting at noon. Amazing. And ladies, you did a fabulous job. Thank you. So I think we should end on one of the moves you taught us. Should we do the pose? All right. All right. Who's counting us down? Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I can, I can't do that. I, saw I you. can do the pose. You were practicing. I saw you over there. I saw you in the break. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Right back. Oh. <laughs>